So I'm sharing a screen with you. So yeah, I, I hope that these videos, if there's a reflection on these videos, it's not going to reflect bad on me. It's going to, it takes a village to raise a child. So whoever contributed towards what I'm doing is to blame. Maybe including my wife, I'm still going to cut my, I must cut my hair so that I can look good. Okay, so for what is important, so you remember from the, so this, I'm saying this video number three intentionally so that you can try to look for other videos. So like what I said, I'll be posting these videos on YouTube and Facebook and other platforms so you can look out for them. So if you want, also I can share with you, you can send me an email. So, so, so like what I said, it's a true story. But this story, most people blame me for that. So I went with my son, like I said, to watch a movie, but they refused me to buy a ticket for my son only. They say I must also accompany my son, of which I, yeah, I argue with that. So as a research psychologist, uh, so this, these numbers are fiction numbers. I'm just trying to do this so that we can understand. So video number two, we had only the uh, one, um, that's the outcome variable, that's the anxiety, and then we age. So because they say your, your child must be a certain age to watch a certain movie. And then this movie was Finding Dory to make it fun for me. It's a cartoon movie. So, but I don't know, maybe it makes sense. Um, so now that's what's linear. So the, I'm, I'm avoiding to use the very technical way. So it's a linear regression. I, I, I think I'm going to explain what, what do we mean by that. Okay. We as in, I'm including myself as a researcher. So, so now we, we found out that from the previous, um, the just linear, simple linear regression, uh, the shared variance, the R squared coefficient of determination was 40 something percent. So that means that the, the shared variance uh, between the two age and anxiety um, is 40 something percent, meaning that there is we, this model of two variables okay, is not explaining the rest of 50 something percent. So someone clever say, okay, let's include self-esteem. So I'm just saying this, don't, let's not argue about why include the self-esteem. So mod progression means that there are a couple, at least one predictor variables for, so we want to predict this anxiety, that's an outcome variable. So remember the, um, the equation for a simple uh, uh, linear regression, the, the equation is, is got y, y with a kind of a V that is facing upwards, so our y is equal to a plus bx. So a is uh, the a. So you have to identify that a and, and, and the b. So the slope and the constant. Uh, um, so now we have two um, predictor variables. That is age and the service team. So with with x here, I'm going to. So the the purpose of this video is just to show you how do you do it on x here, and then to explain the output. Like what I said, I promise that I'm going to do one video where I include all the out. The, the outputs for correlation, regression, more progression, and over chi square. What do they mean? So I think I must do that in one video. So what you do? Uh, so the first video was showing how to activate uh, this data analysis tool pack. So if you don't have it, watch the first video. Um, so yeah, it's coming up. So what what you want to do here is to go to regression, select reg regression here. Um, so, so like what I said before, so you must be careful which one is the Y. So the Y is the outcome variable of which year is anxiety. Okay, and then the X, so, so those are the predictor variables. So if it's one, like previous video, we selected only age, but here we have two. So that is age and self-esteem. We, we click and drag down um, and then the labels were included. So you don't select the labels if you don't, if you did include these wordings. So if you only include numbers, you don't, but I think it's important that we, we include labels. You see, it will make sense with the output. And then also we are 95% confident that this model is a good predictor. So I'm going to explain that as we move forward, but for now I'll not make it as quick as snappy. So, uh, so, so like, like what I mentioned also before is that 
statistics about the systematic variance and unsystematic variance. So what can we explain? The variance that we, make, that we can explain and the variance that we cannot explain. So that comes also with the type one error, type two error. We we'll explain that as we move forward. I don't want to scare you for now. So we are kind of done. Let's let's ignore this for now. We we'll do that as we as we move forward. So a residual is the like when the difference, what you predicted in the outcome. So the distance between between that. That's a that's a that's a residual. Okay. So we, we click on OK. Um, it's, it's coming up. Okay. So let me just just drag it so that comes nice. I think nice is not an English word, is it? I'm not sure. Someone said to me when I was learning, you cannot say nice. So anyway, that won't change. So we want to change these, these values to two decimal places. Uh, so you click, right click, format cells. Now it's taking time to come up. Okay, you click on number, so it's on two, so it's two decimal places. I guess your most of the lecturers, they will tell you, can you make it, can you round off to two decimal places? So that's what, what I did here. Yeah. Um, so, so the first uh, table, see these tables are almost APA. I think they're in APA format already. So this is the, the, the R, so this one comes from correlation. So the correlation between the variables, and then the R squared. So that's this is we square that we come out. So it's there is an increase from forty. Is it forty four percent, fifty nine percent? At least there's an increase of a uh, shared variance. The variance that we can explain. So it means that the two variables of age and self esteem explaining the in, in anxiety, and then this adjusted one you can read what is it. Also read what is standard error. What what was that in standard error? The difference between that and and standard deviation. Okay, these are observations. So number of the size of the sample actually that's what it did. So it's encouraged to to have a bigger sample than you have eleven. So we talk about that. Usually they say thirty so that you can control the normal uh, normal distribution of um, the sampling distribution of the error or something depending on the technique. So this this what is important here is the significance of the model. So if it's less than 0 0.05 because we selected 95 percent, it means that this model is significant. So so sometimes let's say you select age and um, whatever a variable that is not related to anxiety. So it can it may lead to this not being significant. Um, those some, some of the variables doesn't make sense when you when they speak together. And then this what the coefficients important because that's where the equation of, of, of regression comes from. So simple linear regression is good. Is y is equal to a plus bx, but when it's multiple, depending on the in, on, on the predictor variables, it's a is equal to y is equal to a plus bx one plus bx two plus bx three, something like that. So let me see if I can write for you there. So 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 this is um. So, so this, sorry, excuse my writing. So, y is equal to a plus, sorry, b. I must write the one that I don't, I must use the one that I don't have to this. So that's the, the simple one. So now this is a multiple, so this is a px1 plus, so we have two predictor variables here. So bx2. So guys, I'm also left-handed, so the coordination is not as yours, don't judge me. So yeah, the a, so that's, that's, the, that's the intercept. So this is the intercept. So a is the y, wait, intercept, um, let me explain, so is equal to, so it's a negative, so it's minus 0.5949, sorry. 
instead of a plus, it's a negative here. So usually we don't write the zero, so we just write 0.49. Uh, let me try to be quick, I want to end this video before someone disturbs me. Plus uh, 0 0.28. Sorry, I, 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 I skipped something there. I'm going to fix it. X. And then X also here. Yeah. Sorry, guys. So X1, X2. So we'll be able to predict a Y if we are given the values of X1 and then the X2, we can be able to calculate Usually this why, like what I was saying is like this, with a kind of a V on top. Yeah, I guess this is making sense. So for those who, this is the um, intercept, where it crosses the line. So you see here, it's crossing on nine, okay. Sometimes it crosses on zero, so it's cross on line. So the steepness of the line is where, okay, sorry. Is this the B? How steep the gradient of, of, of the line? So, yeah, that's for another day. And then, yeah, let me close this. So, that's that. So, for now, I want you to understand these values and the model and these other values. Yeah, thank you so much. I think it makes sense for you. I'm going to do more videos and then be on the lookout for that. So you have to understand the theory behind all these things and then the assumptions behind um, parametric test and then if we don't meet those assumptions, um, are we going to run um, non-parametric test and what are those and something like that. Yeah, thank you so much for watching.